Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Madan. In this demo, I'm going to show you how we can use a Suite Alert or Toaster uh, client side library in our ASP.NET Core MVC application to send feedback to the client. So, whenever we do something, then we want to send the feedback to the client. So, here is the demo application, uh, and uh, I have created the two buttons here. So, if I click on the save, then we see this type of the success message, and if I click on this remove, then we see the error type of the confirmation dialog so this is the suite alert and uh, this application is configurable to use either suite alert or toaster so at this time we are it is displaying the uh, suite alert message and uh, if we change the configuration to if we change it to use the toaster then it will show us the toaster and we don't need to change anything inside the code we just need to change the value of this notification provider to change the type of the notification we want to show uh, or the type of the feedback we want to show so i have changed the value to the toaster and uh, let's restart the application since we need to restart it after changing the value of the app settings and then it has started let's refresh and let me show you so at this time it is showing the toaster so success type of toaster and error type of this toaster and uh, here is the web page of the suite a lot and uh, it has so uh, given uh, you can find uh, different examples of using suite a lot and uh, let's try this one here try me then this is the suite a lot so for this we need a couple of things here so we need the icon and icon specifies type of the dialog so if it is error then we see the error icon here uh, otherwise if it is success then we see the success title here so it is in this case the icon is warning here and let's try when we see the different type of icon here so in this demo we are going to use this one but we don't use the footer of course you can use footer so for the basic suite alert we need icon and the title and the text and here is the example of the toaster and if i click on the toaster then this is the type of toaster that we want to see and in order to generate the toaster we need this command you can grab it from the website so in order to use suite alert and the toaster we need to download the library and uh, install that into our folder in this case i'm going to use the cdn because it is very simple simple to use cdn so for the suite alert you need to grab this cdn here and for the toaster you need to grab these two cdn for the toaster we need to have uh, javascript and then css so for toaster we need to have both files um, two files two links but for suite alert we need only one link here so i have grabbed those links into the uh, layout.cshtml so if we go to this here and layout.cshtml then here i have grabbed the cdn link for the toaster.css as you can see and uh, here i have grabbed the cdn link for the javascript suite alert and the toaster so let's close this and uh, after that what i have done is in the model folder i have created a one enum called notification type so this is not a class this is an enum public enum notification type and it is specifies type of notification we want to send it would be either it could be either error success warning yeah, of course you can add other values here as well but uh, for this demo we are going to use only these two these three values here and uh, after that I have created the base controller here and uh, because uh, we can reuse the methods or the functions in the base controller uh, mm, by uh, on the base controller we can reuse the methods from base controller into all other controllers of our application so this base controller is uh, extracting the common functionalities of our application since this sending notification or feedback to the client is the common functionality that's why i have kept this method into the base controller and this inherits from the controller class so here i have created a notify method and this notify method expect us to pass the couple of parameters here message title and the notification type so message uh, if we compare these those parameters with the suite alert then in the suite alert we need to pass let's use the simple example so for the basic suite alert we need icon title and text so 
here text would be the message and title is the title of our application and I have set the default value of our application default name of, of our application to the title and the notification type and this notification type is the one that we created here so once we get in and now this method construct the anonymous object uh, and uh, we pass in this anonymous object we pass the couple of properties here so message we pass the incoming message title is the one and uh, for the sweet alert we need icon and for the toaster we need type in case of toaster we don't need to have a icon uh, we just need to have a type of the error so if i click on this demo here and if i click on show toast then in the toaster we need the type of the toast message it could be success error warning or the info and then we can pass the title and the message or we can simply pass message as well so in case of toaster we don't need icon that's why this type and the value of type and icon are the same so this icon would be used for uh, sweet alert and this type value would be used for toaster and I have set the another property provider to the get provider method and this provider uh, get provider gets the value of this app setting dot json notification provider key here so this could be this would be a toaster or the suite alert and uh, I have created the private method here get provider and this get provider reads the value of the f settings.json and uh, it creates the configuration uh, so from that configuration we can access the value of the f settings.json so this is just the boilerplate code and you can just copy and paste it here so instead of doing this get provider i can directly inject the i configuration into the constructor and use uh, that uh, i configuration and this key to get the value of the uh, value of the notification provider but I am not doing this in this case because if I inject that I configuration into our base controller then uh, when we inherit that base controller from our home controller then we need to supply that parameter by using the base keyword so we don't need to I don't want to do this uh, just to get the value of the I configuration and pass it to the base controller so I prefer it this way but you can directly inject I configuration into the constructor and uh, get the value of the <coughs> notification provider from the app settings.json and if you have been watching my previous videos then uh, you know how to do this and uh, after we construct the message we are sending that message or this anonymous object into the temp data dictionary with the key of the message and in this case i have serialized the anonymous object since uh, in asp.net core mbc we cannot uh, directly pass value into the temp data without ser serializing it works fine in asp.net mbc but uh, uh, you will get yourself into trouble if you uh, pass the value into the temp data without serializing like this way so we need to do this and uh, this temp data message will be available in our views so in the home controller I have created the two methods save and the delete method to simulate the notification or the feedback process so in the save method I have used the try catch and uh, here we can try to save data try to save data into the database database and if we succeed that then we'll notify this part of the code runs and this will send call the notify action of the, our base controller and uh, only the necessary parameter for this is the message since title and the notification type are uh, set uh, <coughs> default values so if we need to send the success method the mes success message to the client then we can only pass the uh, we can only pass the one parameter here 
and uh, here I have created the another method to simulate the error condition so in the try I have thrown the unauthorized access exception you can throw any type of exception this is this is just simulating the error condition here so whenever the exception occurs let's say we tried to delete the database in this uh, data from the database in this section and we could not succeed then our code falls back to the catch section and we are we will send the error type of the notification so we call the method notify and we send send the message could not save could not delete let's say could not delete data and then in this case we need to pass the notification type to the error because uh, the default value for this is the success and uh, before this notification type we have the another um, parameter here title so if we try to just send the notification type dot error then we get error here because we need to pass another parameter in the middle here because our notify method expect us to pass that parameter before notification type this title but we don't want to change this title because this is the title of our application so there is a work around for this and for this in this case uh, in this situation we can use named parameters so in case of the named parameter we can pass named parameter by naming them so the our parameter is notification type and then we can give column colon and then notification type dot error so this works now this sends uh, notify method and this notify method creates the temp data dictionary with the value of the uh, notification <coughs> message variable or the object and sends that to the view so after doing this I have created the partial view here notification partial here and uh, since uh, those are the uh, we uh, the toaster and the sweet alert are the javascript library so we need to run those inside the script and in the partial I have created the script section and then first of all we need to load we need to get the temp data from the uh, from the temp we need to get the message or the data or the notification coming into the temp data dictionary so here i am checking the values so first of all i am checking if temp data of message is null or not so if it is not null then i am using html dot raw because we need the data that is sent from the controller in the exact format so whatever the controller sends uh, i need that data there so i have used html dot raw and uh, if it is null then i'm going to just return the undefined and wrap that inside the html.raw because if i do not wrap this inside the html.raw then we run into the error because this is a ternary operator and we cannot send we cannot um, uh, use two different data types types of the values so in this case i'm just simply wrapping this inside the html.raw and then pass the undefined here so first of all i'm just going to log this into the console console.log message and let's see what data we are getting from this so our application is running and then if i refresh it let's refresh it and then let's open the console here and then let's click on save then we get the serialized json data here so we have a message here title here icon and the type and the provider so we check if the provider is toaster or sweet alert and choose the appropriate library accordingly so we got the message here and if message that means if it is not undefined and then we are going to select the we are going to mm, check the whether the provider is sweet alert or not so if message that provider is sweet alert the provider this key here field here and then if it is a sweet alert then we fire the sweet alert notification so in order to create the sweet alert we need to use this SWL sol dot fire and we can pass title text and icon and you can get more information about this from this documentation here sol dot fire and we can pass those values otherwise if it is not the if the provider is not sweet alert and in this case uh, we are seeing the provider is toaster in our view and if it is a toaster then we generate the toaster message toaster we pass the type of the toaster it could be success error warning and we pass the message text um, that we want to display and the title of the 
toaster here and finally i have rendered this partial page into the layout.cshtml of our application so at this place here i have to await html.partial async and load that partial page here in this way now if we run our demo let's run the demo and see if it still works so at this time it is showing us the toaster now let's change the type of the notification to sweet a lot let's save this and then i'm going to restart the application and let's refresh and now it is showing us the sweet a lot type of feedback or the notification here and you can also inspect the values coming from the temp data so the steps uh, let's review it once a very short first of all i have created the notification type enum and then i have created the base controller here and in the base controller i have created the notify method so that uh, this method can be used uh, throughout all the controllers of our application i have created the private method get provider here so that we get the values uh, from the app settings.json file and from the controller we can inherit base controller and then we can call the notify method whenever we want to send notifications or the feedback to the client and after that uh, we have included the cdn library for the uh, java for the suite alert and toaster into our layout file and i have created notification partial page here and uh, this gets the data from the temp data and converts that into the suite alert or toaster type of the notification and finally we have rendered that notification partial into our layout.cshtml so in this way you can customize uh, the type of notifications or feedback you want to display in your mbc application so this is it for now friends and if you like this video then please don't forget to share and subscribe thanks for watching and have a great day